was a terrific guy. Exactly the person you thought he was. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Optic 4 tent. We just finished off these girls. We got four Jordan of the Islands in here. We got the God's Perp looking very perp and beautiful. My goodness. We got the Blue Cheese times Purple Kush. Another really nice perp strain. Beautiful, beautiful buds on it. Gorgeous. Super frosty. Man, I cannot wait to try these out. So these plants are a little bit smaller than the last run we did, but we did give them about a month and a half less of vegetative growth. So we just threw them right in the flower when they were kind of small. And I was expecting more of a uh, uh, jump once we threw it in flower, but I guess these genetics do not really have that big of a stretch. Something to keep in mind if you are growing in a very uh, small tight space and you want to be growing some uh, photoperiod plants. So these are uh, Jordan of the Island genetics. We got, uh, we got the God's Green Crack here. Another beautiful looking purple strain. All these ones look, went very purple. Super, super frosty. I think this is the most frosty of them all. Get a load of that. So nice. Smells are amazing in here. And over here we got the Crimson Crystal. Now this is the biggest of the buds. Look at this. There's no way to get the hand around with this. That is a beautiful cola. Shows what the optic lineup can do. Definitely a massive bud up top here. Smells amazing. Yeah. Good stuff. So that's it for this grow series. We're going to be throwing some new plants in here right away. Possibly some autoflowers. So stay tuned for that. We're trying to decide what to run in here. Uh, what do you guys think? Should we run some autoflowers in here or photo periods again? So let me know what you guys think. Really excited to get these out, get these chopped down. Start taking some photos of them. Super, super purpley plants. So I think that's it. We took a bunch of photos of these girls and I think we're going to be chopping them down now. All right, I'm, I'm within the jungle. <laughs> so we got these girls out here now, right about to harvest them. We gave them a good uh, day of darkness. And that's pretty much it. Normally I'd give them two days, but uh, yeah, we're, we're kind of wanting some new meds. So we're really excited about this. We got some very nice, beautiful buds. This one I can't even get my hand around. Some very, very nice colas. Super frosty. Smells are amazing once the, the carbon filter's turned off. It's not sucking up all the, the beautiful smells. But I'm thinking because these leaves are really, really crystally, really triked right up, I think we're just gonna chop them all and uh, just throw them into the hash pile. And uh, yeah, make some hash either tomorrow or the next day, but yeah, I kind of really want some new hash. So as you can see, my lighting is still pretty terrible. I got my LED light, but it's pretty much dying. It's not doing that good. Definitely need a better lighting system here. But uh, yeah, here we go. We have up front, we have, so up front here, this big one that can't even get the hand around. This is the Crimson Crystal. 
This thing smells amazing. Next to it, we have the God's Green Crack. The God's Green Crack is definitely the most triked out of all of them. The crystals come all the way out to the edge of the leaves. So definitely beautiful. Uh, I'd say the second most triked out one is this one right behind it. And this is the God's Perp. This is the really nice God's Perp phenotype I found. Really tasty, super frosty, dank stuff. Over here, the last one is the, this is the blue cheese times purple fish. Very tasty uh, strain. Pretty triked out, some really nice dense buds. But yeah, I'm really happy with all these. Now these are some really nice fast genetics from Jordan of the Islands. Always seem to finish right on eight weeks. So really happy with that. So for small plants, when we threw these into flower, they actually turned out very nicely. Very happy with them. Some very nice dense buds. This one, this is my favorite. Can't even get my hand around it. Gotta love the power of LED lights. Grown under the Optic 4 LED. We used uh, Remo Newts for about half it, and then we ran out of Remo Newts. So we went over to Fox Farm, the, the last of the stuff we had of Fox Farm. That's about it. My lighting seems like it's about to die, so I think we're gonna wrap it up here. Get to chop these girls. So that's it before we start harvesting them, guys. So thank you guys for tuning in. Follow along with this grow, and I cannot wait to start a new one. So stay tuned for that. Hope you guys are having a great day too, and uh, peace out, stay stony, stay high. Catch you guys later.